has been called many things, but we just call him Roy. This is the Roy Green Show. In uh, 81 days, I believe it is 81 days, recreational marijuana will be legal across Canada. However, how prepared are individual provinces to control the distribution and sale of cannabis? American companies are also poised to enter this country and sell their cannabis here. Jody Emery uh, joins me on The Roy Green Show. She and her husband, Mark, are Canada's best-known marijuana activists. And Jody has just opened Jody's Joint at Kensington Market in Toronto, where for now she sells coffee. For now. Jody's Joint. Now, let me see. Why would you call it that? How are you? Uh, I'm doing very well. How are you? It's, uh, I'm doing great. Good to talk to you. Uh, let me ask you, Jody. Do you approve of Doug Ford moving forward to permit entrepreneurs to sell marijuana products on October the 17th, I assume that you're going to say yes, versus Kathleen Wynne's plan, which was to have sales outlets controlled by the Provincial Liquor Control Board. The unions are saying, this is not a good way to th- say things what, or do things. What do you say? Well, I'm happy for two reasons. Of course, the personal reason is that I would hope, as a young female entrepreneur and a prohibition victim and a legalization advocate that brought this all about, I would hope I get a chance to be a private retailer of cannabis in Ontario, but I'm also very happy because the Ontario proposal beforehand to create an expensive multi-hundred million dollar bureaucracy costing taxpayers to create a model that was doomed to fail, that was the wrong way to go. We shouldn't be forcing taxpayers to subsidize a massive new regime when legalization is supposed to lead to job creation and tax revenue generation, not, you know, forcing taxpayers to pay for it. Exactly. Now, this program airs across the country or across most of Canada. Alberta has a similar policy now to what uh, Doug Ford has said is going to happen in the province of Ontario. What is, and you're from British Columbia, although you have Jody's Joint in Kensington Market in Toronto. What is your sense looking across the country? Are you reasonably satisfied that for you as a female entrepreneur, the playing field is going to be level come the uh, 17th of October to become active, as active as you wish to become in selling marijuana products? Well, unfortunately, that's an issue across Canada. In some provinces, they're immediately prohibiting people with criminal records from participating. Even federally, I'm not allowed to create a legal cannabis production business because of my criminal record related to legalization activism, which of course is ironic in so many ways. Uh, One of the other concerns, of course, is that the costs and the barriers to enter the market are often placed so high, excuse the pun, but it's made in a prohibitive manner that only allows the already rich and connected and established to take advantage. So while I am excited that Ford has said Ontario may allow for a private retailer, will allow, we need to ask which private retailers? Is that just big weed and big business and the stock market pot companies and shoppers drug mart? Or is it the individual entrepreneurs, the mom and pops, the Mm -hmm. people who already opened up storefronts and self-regulated in the hope that they could be legally able to do so in the future. So now what is legal advice? What is your? I would imagine you've talked to lawyers about yours and Mark's ability to sell the product in this country, even though you have uh, criminal records for uh, having operated uh, outside the law. Alberta is saying that anybody who is involved in the so-called gray market will receive no government permission to sell now. Uh, what are your lawyers telling you what uh, the chances are of you getting the permission federally? Well, they say we just have to try and get legal and licensed. And for me as an activist, this is a very strange time. The government is saying we're going to legalize it. So here are the rules so we can legalize you so you're not a criminal anymore. Mm -hmm. But then those rules are impossible to meet. So then the government comes back and says, hey, you, you haven't gotten legal yet. We're going to have to arrest you. And we say, but government, you aren't allowing us 
to be liberated from this criminal market. The government's restrictions and limitations and prohibitions, that's what creates okay. the criminal market they say they're trying to eliminate. Jody, th Jody thank you. I just have to... I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's always the clock. Thank you so much for the time. It's Jody's Joint in Kensington Market in Toronto, where you're selling great coffee now, and we'll see about the future. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Roy. Take care. You too. Jody Emery. When we come back, it's the beauties.